Hey, Pod One, welcome to your reading. I put up a poll to see what video y'all wanted next, and the winner was Messages from Your Guys. And I love this reading, I love it, love it, love it. So, let's see what messages you have your guides have for you today. This is one of my favorite readings to do, too. So, for your tarot, we had a Ten of Swords. This card shows up with something good is going to happen today. We got if this outfit looks good on you. And we got go to the gym. Hmm. So, right off the bat, I'm seeing you, something about you getting over a betrayal. Or, or somebody stabbed you in the back. Or something like felt like betrayal. And your guys just want to let you know that you've been through the worst of it. I heard that like loud and clear. Like you've been through the worst of it. The worst of it is over and things are about to start looking up for you. And I don't know if some of y'all some of y'all were thinking about um getting like a new wardrobe. It's crazy how spirit speaks. But I don't know if some of y'all was thinking about getting a new wardrobe or it does it does have go to the gym. So if some of y'all were thinking about like getting a new wardrobe or like turning a new leaf after a heartbreak, this heartbreak doesn't necessarily have to be romantic. It could be just like a huge disappointment or a huge letdown or a huge like betrayal. Sometimes sometimes people don't even have to betray you. You could just be feel betrayed by life or betrayed by the universe. Like, I'm getting some of y'all, it's not even a person that betrayed y'all. It, it's it's just life itself. Like, I felt like that before. Like, I feel like life betrayed me. Like, how could this happen to me type energy? You're just getting over the hill of, like, a feeling like that. Like, how did this happen to me? Why did you let this happen to me type energy? We got outside it's all in your mind if you apply you will get it yes so your spirit team is saying that you're about why did i just hear you about to get back on the good foot like i don't even talk like that but that, that's what i just heard you about to get on a good foot so and then when I'm looking at this gym, some of y'all can like walk the treadmill a lot. Yeah, like y'all enjoy walking the treadmill. I know I enjoy walking the treadmill and that's kind of how God speaks to me. They show me things like about myself that I'm supposed to like tell y'all. So yeah, I love to walk the treadmill. So some of y'all could walk the like to walk the treadmill or walk the uh, trail because we do have outside right here. And I'm getting that that will help you to like clear clear your mind help you heal and stuff like that from this situation and it'll help you to completely get over it and i'm really really getting heavy that somebody is about to get a new wardrobe be resourceful wear your crystals 666 is not as bad as you think what fear of success symptoms it's not as bad as you think Give to someone today. Pond. Archangel Michael. Archangel Michael could be one of your guides too. Okay, so what I'm getting is you're you're going into a state of peace, and it's because you're protecting yourself. Like I've been doing a whole lot of um like protection, like upping my protection lately and like i go by my intuition like when i feel like i need to do more protection i do more protection like it's just kind of like i go by how i feel i don't do the exact same thing all the time so i've been finding myself just naturally without even thinking about it doing a whole bunch of protection lately and what i'm seeing is like whatever you're doing is kind of like we have wear your crystals here whatever you're doing 
you're kind of um you're protecting yourself more and it's allowing you to have a clearer head and a clearer mind and you're starting to realize that it's not as bad as what you think and i'm just i keep hearing playing a victim in my head i don't know what to, Maybe some of y'all were playing a victim. Like, that was just, like, random, but I, I was told to say that. Like, I'm hearing that some of y'all could be playing, was playing the victim, and now y'all not playing a victim anymore. And I'm getting the reason why y'all was playing a victim so much is because it was a fear of success symptom. So you was, like, subconsciously uh, afraid of your own success, so you would, like, play the victim, and now you don't really you don't play the victim you're filling your cup up so much to where like you have it to give to somebody now your cup is like overflowing or this is where your energy is going this is where this is where you're going to be if you're not already here let's see we got yoga would be good for you yes it's all about peace if you're not there yet if you're not there yet, this is where you're going. Like, you're going to toward peace. Definitely. You're getting over a huge betrayal. And you probably felt like the victim. And you were, you were like, playing a victim about it. Like, even though you were a victim, it was like you was playing a victim. Like, every time something bad would happen, you'd be like, see, it's because of this, this, and this, this has happened. So, you're finally, like moving out of that energy go hard on this yes yeah, so your spirit team is saying like go hard on this go hard on this this new start that you have don't let up keep your protection up like the fact that you're not playing a victim anymore is action is actually acting as protection because negative energies can't even really get in when you have a strong mindset but if you're always constantly like, oh my God, it was because you did this to me, you did that to me, you're in like a lower state and then that's when the negativity can kind of seep in through the back door. But as long as you go into the gym, you keeping your, you know, you keeping your mind at peace and you take a responsibility for your own life, that's when the negativity has a harder time getting to you. And then you're realizing that your situation is not even really that bad. You're finding solutions. As getting bigger. So you're making some progress. If you're not making progress now, you will make progress. From the hood. Put your spirituality out there. I'm hearing you could finally be like finally putting your spirituality to use and not just like studying or you know watching videos reading books I feel like you're using your spirituality to help you now and that's amazing because I always say that's what spirituality is here for it's here to help us it's not here you know just for us to read about or contemplate about or anything like that it's supposed to be used for actual life <laughs> you know it's, it's it's supposed to be a tool for us to use to better our lives and if we're not using it as a tool then what are we really doing if we're just reading about it watching videos about it contemplating about it that's not doing anything that's like toxic um spirituality you know just reading about it just just um contemplating about it um watching videos about it consuming content about it but not actually putting things into action that will help you move your life forward and when i say my prayer before every reading i always say may this reading move the viewer forward in life because if it's not moving you forward in life then what is it doing <laughs> like what is it really doing <laughs> So, yeah, you're going to actually be using the knowledge that you learn. In love. You deserve this. So, this, this change in vibration, this better quality of life that, that you're coming into, 
you deserve this and you're gonna be so in love with your life and love can be on the way every time i get this in love i, I have a different like meaning for it but this particular time is like love is on the way and i almost never say that when i pull that card but love is on the way snake skin every time i pull this i think about megan the stallion cobra like you are shedding skin you are moving into a whole new timeline like you are getting over this this betrayal this heartbreak so i'm gonna get you one more validation card before we get out of here this is like amazing energy wow we have your intuition is on point remember what i said in the beginning of the reading your protection is up you the things that you're doing for yourself is naturally protecting you and it's naturally um allowing you to really really benefit from like the spiritual knowledge that you know maybe even the non-spiritual knowledge that you know maybe you you're even able to put that to better use because you're your state of being is like at a different place like maybe you read a book about money or something like that but you couldn't take action on it because you was just all over the place in the head and feeling like a victim but now you can finally put everything that you've ever learned into actual action and things are working for you things are things are coming through for you and now you you can have like a healthy delusion instead of an unhealthy delusion if that makes any sense so power one let me know how this resonated like comment and subscribe to book a personal reading you can look in the description and find out how to do that and i will see y'all in the next video bye hey power two welcome to your reading and today we are going to be getting messages from your guys this is a topic that won on a poll and i loved it because this is one of my favorite topics to do is messages from your guys so for your tarot, we have the Four Swords. Then we have your last spell worked. Your head is five. <laughs> I laugh every time I pull that card. And we have all black. Okay. What I'm getting right now is... When I'm looking at this all black, the first thing that I heard was absorb. The first thing that I heard was absorb. And when I'm looking at this four of this four of swords and it's your last spell work, I'm getting that your spirit team is saying that so whatever you just did is like, how can I put it? whatever you just did worked and now like now you're at a standstill you're at a rest because the universe is like absorbing whatever energy that you just put out there you could have just did like candle magic or because as soon as i seen the fire in a spell i automatically felt candle magic so you could have just did candle magic you could you could have just did some type of working and we do have the all uh, black and i'm getting witchy so some of y'all could have just did like a manifestation ritual a visualization candle magic any type of working any type of manifestation and i'm hearing that like it sounds really weird <laughs> and i hate saying weird shit but sometimes spirit just be telling me like okay so it's like it's being absorbed into the universe like it's being absorbed into like I don't know what sci-fi movie I, I'm thinking of, but that's what I'm thinking of. It's like um, when there, there's like a black hole or something, but this is the one I'm talking about, but this is like a black hole and then it absorbs um, everything into the fabric of the universe and everything is like made of the fabric of the universe, but it's just weird. But anyway, um, that could, that could resonate for some people but anyway what i'm getting is your guys are saying that whatever energy you just put out there is being absorbed and all you need to do right now is rest 
and meditate and wait on the next steps. Oh, we just pulled the law of assumption. I what is like I'm psychic or something. The sun. What you jump timelines? What did I say? I'm getting whatever spell work or or intention work that you did. It was something. It was something like you know what you was doing, okay? Because it's being absorbed into the universe like it's being absorbed into the the fabric of the universe and it's come like it's coming into fruition for you earth angel we can have some earth angels in the building rapper oh yet something is coming fast some kind of intention work that you did you could you could have did this with your guides well everything we do is kind of with our guys but you could have like intentionally did this with your guides you'd made some type of intention or something and it's your guys don't want to tell you that it's coming through like it's coming through and it's coming through fast like as soon as you did it you jump timelines because maybe you had like a when you did the spell you had like a um instant um mindset change and that's kind of how spells work so you had like an instant mindset change and it jumped you timelines right then when you did it and whatever intention work that you did i don't care what you did if you scripted if you did candle magic if you did um manifest if you did visualization um affirmations whatever you did it like imprinted itself in the fabric of the universe and it's it's coming look at this come on <laughs> come on. are we serious right now <laughs> man come on come on every time every time because i'll be like <laughs> i'll be telling my guys like oh my god i don't even want to say no weird shit like that but then everything just comes together like i mean it's literally it's what i'm getting food stamps and this reminds me of like um something that's like unearned what i mean like something that you get easily something that somebody else gives you so it was like, yeah, you earned it because like you did the spiritual work for it. But I'm saying like it's, it's whatever you're manifesting is going to come so easily to where it's going to feel like, you know, like it's basically just been given to you because the manifestation work was so easy and effortless because you know what the hell you doing. Oh, we got treat yourself, bitch. So, yes. Whatever thing, whatever you're manifesting is gonna allow you to treat yourself. Triangle pyramid. Super wet money bag. Yo, this could be a this could be a money manifestation. Birthday. Do I have any more April birthdays in the house? But um, with this tangle pyramid and I'm getting that, I don't know, y'all, I'm getting occult vibes. Like, I'm getting occult vibes. These are my people in power too. Like, I'm getting, you know what the fuck, I'm getting, you know what you're doing. Like, you, 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 you got it under control. And all you got to do is just sit back and watch shit happen. Change your style okay we got change your style treat yourself bitch so yeah either you are already in this energy or the energy is coming up to where you're gonna be able to get some stuff that you wanted and you're gonna feel like things are just being given to you but it's not like being given to you it's 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 due to the work that you've done and you don't understand the um you don't understand the intensity. You don't understand the intensity of what you did. It's so intense to where it's like in the fabric of the universe. Like it's it's inevitable. Like you were always going to get this. 
and your guys are wanting to tell you that like this is coming through for you and, and you have like impacted you have impacted your reality so deeply so deeply and it's finally like coming through if it's not coming through now this is your immediate future and this is what your guys don't want to tell you your guys are wanting to tell you that whatever you did whatever you're doing is extremely powerful eat them up i'm getting <laughs> i'm getting that whatever you did you're gonna be able to have fun with this you're gonna be able to have fun with this your birthday coming up or whatever just any kind of um celebration you're gonna whatever this is that you called in for yourself is gonna make it 10 times better seeing like no one's watching throat ch chakra and we have no you could have been thinking that the universe was saying no to what you wanted clean your home you could you could be doing you could be doing intentions in your everyday um in your everyday life too like when you're cleaning your home and stuff and if you don't do that because that will strengthen that will strengthen your magic even more and then we have your body is banging nine 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 this is the last time and when i'm getting with this your guys wants to t let you know that your your spiritual work is going to be even more it's going to be easier and easier and easier and easier when i was talking to my guys today um because i'm i'm preparing some stuff like i have a lot of stuff coming y'all but i was talking to my guys today and they told me that your spiritual gifts are like muscles like you have to work them out every single day and i'm getting there like you've been like working them out working them out working them out and this you're probably bringing something into fruition that was really really hard to bring in but once you bring this in it's going to be the last time that it will ever be that hard to manifest the life that you want to manifest something into your life wow come on let's end with this come on your spiritual gifts are working period <laughs> Pier i gotta get one more validation card because this what your spirit guys are speaking to you you're not a bad person for being confident so when this comes into fruition know that you the shit and you're a powerful ass spiritualist period even if this was your first time or even if you only visualized or even if you only said affirmations you imprinted on the universe and brought something into reality that is not anything to take lightly so pile two let me know if you resonated with this um Thank you for liking, commenting, and subscribing. If you need a personal reading, look in the description. Find out that, how to do that. And I will see you in the next video. Bye. Hey, Pile 3. Welcome to your reading. So I put up a poll. And the topic that won was messages from your spiritual guides. Yay. I love this topic. It's one of my favorite topics to do. So let's get some messages from your spirit team. So we have the nine of swords. We have get a job. <laughs> we have you have amazing hygiene. And we have big lips. Oop. <laughs> Ooh. We have you have amazing hygiene and i immediately thought about spiritual hygiene then i just pulled do a return to sender get your dream body through through mind work certification makeup change okay dad start that business okay so <clears throat> your spirit team wants to let you know that if you have been going through any kind of anxiety you've been having negative thoughts you've been depressed depressed 
um having depressive thoughts you've been like not yourself lately maybe if even if if you've been getting like any kind of like um anything like random like you had a random pimple on your face or you you having some issues with your skin or your hair or your makeup is not and that's i'm I'm gonna talk about that later but the spirit is saying that you need to do a return to sender and put up some some more protection i was just talking about protection the other piles you need to put up some more protection protect yourself um because somebody that is maybe more spiritually advanced is trying to come after like your beauty i hate delivering messages like this but they might be coming after your beauty or your popularity or the fact that people like you or the fact that they think that you have a better life than them in some type of way shape or form and i'm hearing that this could be like a family member somebody as close as a dad so we're not talking about a family member that's that's distant and only see you on facebook we're talking about a family member that you are in like close proximity with um your spirit team wants you to know that you need to kind of bump up your spiritual hygiene so you need to be cleansing every every day when you get in the shower you need to be cleansing um Every day when you get in the shower, you need to be cleansing. You need to be um, putting your um, your spirit, spiritual protection up. You can pray. Pray over yourself every single day. If you have kids, pray over them every single day. Ask God to put a bubble of protection around you. If you've been around anybody that's been making you kind of feel like you're not doing enough. Because when I look at this, get a job. It's, I'm hearing it in my head. It's kind of like, get a job, get a job. I'm, I'm hearing somebody like kind of torment somebody and make them feel like they're not doing enough. So if somebody's making you feel like you're not doing enough, like you're not enough in any type of way, you need to like spiritually protect yourself from them. Maybe even remove yourself um, away from them because they are causing this if whatever's happening to you if your makeup um i was gonna say this too um my makeup came out amazing today too it's crazy how my life coincides with these readings it's it's weird but a, another sign of somebody spiritually attacking you if, if you wear makeup every day a sign that somebody could be spiritually attacking you is when your makeup starts to come out wrong all of a sudden. Like, all of a sudden, your makeup starts to come out looking crazy. Like, you always do your makeup a certain way. And now, like, um, you kind of glance at yourself in a mirror uh, and your makeup is not looking uh, looking right. Or it didn't look like it looked when you did it. Or, like, if, you, if your makeup is not coming out right, to, that is a sign, like, to me... That's always a sign that something is going on. Um, what's another sign? When you start to feel like you're not enough. Like, it's okay. Like, you know how you have your regular goals? You have your regular goals, right, that you always have wanted to go for. But when you start getting goals that are, like, um, out of your, out of character for you. Like, because we all change. We all um, change and evolve. But if you know something is out of character for you, but then you start to all of a sudden want it, like maybe you um, you always say that you would never get surgery because you just don't believe in uh, getting plastic surgery. You just don't believe in it. Like, like that was one of your things that you stood on. Like, that's just like a part of who you are. It's a part of your values, right? Um, and then if you all of a sudden start feeling like, you know what, maybe, maybe I do want to get surgery. Maybe I do want to get some lip injections come look at these lips right here it's like maybe i should get some lip injections or some like nose maybe i should get some no a nose job or maybe i should you know what i mean and i'm thinking about people because i i just saw a video the other day about people in hollywood that had plastic surgery and nose jobs and stuff like that and i looked through i looked through the um the pictures and i'm like wow it was a lot of people on there that i didn't even know had surgery a lot and i was like damn um 
And then, so your guys are saying like, when when the people in Hollywood, you know, most of them have plastic surgery and stuff like that, but it's because they have so many eyes looking at them all the time. They deal with so much evil eye that it seeps through a lot and it starts to make them want to change themselves. It starts to make them have thoughts that are different than their own. That's why so many celebrities have plastic surgery because they get so much hate just just naturally that it makes them kind of want to um they they start having these thoughts that aren't theirs and they start wanting to have surgery this is what happens to a lot of people even influencers after a while influencers start to have surgery a lot and there's nothing wrong with having surgery or whatever but you know if you are a surgery person or if you're not if what you know you know what your values are out and a good idea to do is to write down your values when you when you are feeling um like you are level-headed and stuff write down your values and anytime you feel kind of different like oh i think i want to change this or i want to do that go back to your list of values and you'll you'll understand if it's your, if you're receiving your own thoughts or if it's somebody else's thoughts so yeah that was a lot but let's get some more cards Oh, escape, jeep, Pilates. And you know what the Pilates is reminding me of? You know how in the late in the last past couple of years, Pilates have been getting really, really um popular. And it's like since Lori Harvey said she do Pilates, now everybody wants to do Pilates. It's kind of like a group thought, like a hive mind. I haven't heard that in so long. A hive mind. So this could be making you kind of feel like you could be getting spiritually attacked and it could be uh, kind of making you have these thoughts about yourself, like trying to do all of these different stuff to yourself, like you're not enough. And you could be doing, you could be escaping right now. You could be trying to um, escape escape the negative thoughts because if you have a negative thought telling you to change 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 24 hours a day you're gonna do something you're gonna do something play the lottery scratcher oh you know what this play the lottery scratcher means I don't really like to play the lottery a lot because it reminds me of like a negative time in my life. I remember when I was going through like a negative time in my life and like if I would need money and I would want to go play the lottery and I would think it was my intuition telling me to go play the lottery. But then I would, whenever I would go play it, I would always lose. And then I would get mad because I'm like, oh, I thought my intuition told me to go play the lottery. So why would I? Why would my intuition tell me to go play the lottery and then I lose? That don't make any sense. I used to get mad, but then come to find out when I got <laughs> when I got out of that situation and I got healthier, it wasn't my intuition telling me to go play the lottery. It was the, the, the dark thoughts. It was the negative thoughts. It was I was at such a low vibration that I was just being I was just listening to something else, thinking that it was my intuition and it was not. So you're doing something. Your spirit guides are just letting you know that you need to up your protection. Whatever you do for protection, you need to um, cleanse yourself. Cleanse yourself daily. I mean daily until you start to feel better. And then um, also you can take a bowl of water. I just did this the other day too. You can take a bowl of water and put some sea salt or regular salt in it and set it on the side of your bed just um so it could absorb all of the negative energy around you and protect you while you're sleeping and you can also put them in different rooms too bless your whole entire home roller skate roller skate always reminds me of like new hobbies there could be like negative thoughts that you're having that's influencing you to do new things that you think are your idea but they're not Look, you have spirit around you right now. Yeah, you you have some things around you that um it's just 
I mean, you you don't have to get creeped out like, oh my God, you have evil things around you or nothing like that. But it's just whenever we are in, are in a low vibration, we attract low vibrational energies. And they tend to feed off that. They feed off fear and anxiety. So whenever you just cleanse yourself and stuff like that, that stuff kind of goes away. It has nowhere to go if you're cleansed and you're clear and, and you have a clear head. Look, you're too stressed out. Take a break. You're in some stressed energy. Yeah. You're stressed out about something. Something is stressing you out. And the, the thing that you, if you're not able to get away from the person that's probably sending you the attack, you're going to have to constantly, constantly, constantly cleanse yourself. Constantly cleanse yourself. I mean, twice a day, three times a day if you need to. We have flowers. Monday. Twerk music. Oh, yes. So, twerk, you buy yourself some flowers because that may even raise your vibration. Buy yourself some flowers or if you like flowers or do something for yourself. And with this twerk music I'm getting, if you like to dance, dance. Like, move some energy. Move some energy. And we have track, uh, trap music. And water. Yes, work with water. Definitely work with water. Because I'm getting um, what I was just saying about the salt water. So that was just confirmation. So you might want to go ahead and do that too. Let me get you some um, validation cards before we get out of here. Yeah, your guys, your guys are just wanting to tell you that you need to cleanse. Cleanse really, really well. My, maybe even physically clean and think about all of the um, negative energy leaving while you're physically cleaning and and stay in control of your mind stay in control of your minds i have a video coming up about that that i um that i worked with my guys on and that's going to be coming up to how to control your mind look at you on your love and light shit yes yes you need to you need to do something that makes you feel lighter that makes you feel less stressed maybe you you need to drink a bunch drink a bunch of water that just came in my head drink a bunch of water because water is high vibrational naturally make sure you're keeping your water in a safe space too don't like if you live with somebody that's negative soon as you buy the soon as you buy the water cleanse your room right soon as you buy you some water that you could just have for yourself or whatever and put it in a safe place where that person never goes like if you live with somebody that's negative put it put your water in a safe place where that person never goes because water absorbs energy so you just don't want to be just drinking the water from the common spot where everybody's stressed out and stuff that one more and your bum in the bedroom. So hey, you may even <laughs> you may even have to do some other activities to calm your nerves. But yeah, cleanse, 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 and more cleanse pile three. Um, let me know if you need a personal reading. Um, and also like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see y'all in the next one. Bye. Hey pile four, welcome to your reading. So on the poll, everybody chose messages from your spirit guides and it's my favorite topic so i'm glad that this is the one that got voted for the most so let's see what your spirit guides have to tell you today we have the page of wands your guides say hi you're a mastermind and we got pretty feet so, right off the bat, I'm getting a message as soon as I turned off. What was that? <laughs> Sorry. Okay. So, as soon as I turned, I mean, as soon as I turned over the card, I automatically got one of your guides is um, kind of younger. I don't know. Maybe somebody that's listening to this pile needed to know that one of their guides is like a young person. 
almost like kind of giving kid vibes so um i don't know i don't know what that's about and we also have your guys say hi so maybe you've been a little distant from your guys or maybe you been talking to your guys more lately and your guys just saying hey hi and then we have this you're a mastermind and we have pretty feet and it's uh, again with the young thing i'm getting that your guys are saying you don't know you don't know how powerful how powerful you are just yet you may think you're powerful but you don't know how to what degree yet Ooh, two 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 this is for you smoke break drink break <laughs> keep your business to yourself new home so your spirit guys are saying that you are embarking upon a new journey you are embark embarking upon a new journey and do not tell anybody about this new journey because i'm hearing i'm i'm getting like a child energy again i'm hearing that whatever you're doing is kind of in it's in its um infancy right now it's like a baby it's like an embryo like you can't touch it you can't handle it like you gotta treat it with care and um your spirit team is saying that you need to treat this new endeavor with care and i'm also hearing like i usually don't get when i get drink break and smoke drink and smoke break i i don't usually get the um the actual meaning of the card but in this case your spiritual team is saying that it would be a good thing for you to be sober right now because you are developing something you're developing something and you could possibly be moving and your spirit team is saying that they are helping you with this move that they're helping you with this move and they approve um they approve this move for you soulfully gifted egypt this is so good for you meditate more oh my god loud and clear you are about your spirit guys this is why we have this your spirit guys said hi and they're letting you know who they are because remember i said one of your spirit guys said that they're young kind of like a child almost so your spirit team is saying that it oh my god like y'all <laughs> okay your spirit team is saying that it is going to be best for you to be sober right now sober from drinking and sober from smoking and the reason for this is because you are about to start downloading ancient knowledge from them like you're gonna be meditating more and you are about to start downloading information we have you are a mastermind remember in the beginning of the reading when i said you don't know how powerful you are you are about to you are about to embark on something that's so freaking big it's insane it's insane and if you're moving because we have this new home here if you're moving this move has everything to do with this um this information that you're about to start um downloading because you know location 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 really means everything because we have different vibrations in different locations so if you're at a certain location and it and it makes you be in a certain vibration that vibration is probably not a match to the information that you're about to get ready to, to receive wow and we have this is so good for you and it's keep your business to yourself so in the beginning i'm getting that you are going to be keeping this to yourself you're not going to be sharing it just 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 yet yes so 
your guys are saying that your guys are in teaching mode right now you have teachers for your guys right now they're about to teach you a bunch of stuff you have a female guide who is going to be your teacher and she's going to be teaching you things to teach other people and as you learn these lessons you're going to be teaching these lessons to others we have this person is a hater this person is messy lazy day std so your guys right now are trying to move you out of the way of anything that is like trashy and messy you're you're going on like a a journey you're about to go on like a journey of you probably you're about to become like a channeler you're about to start channeling so much freaking information but right now your guys are wanting you to get away from things that don't that do not serve you so with this soulfully gifted this person is like you're gonna have to get away from things that are not um of of your caliber like um just like say if you're about to start communicating with very very high angelic beings you're gonna have to stop being associated and i know this is gonna sound like a little me but you're gonna have to stop being associated with um with other spiritualists that maybe don't communicate with beings as as high on as um in the higher realms like you do and it's not because you think you're better than somebody or something like that it's because you need to stay in that energy because every time that you like kind of intake like trashy things or things that are like not of your caliber it kind of brings you down because vibration i'm being told like vibration is like so say if you're at a high vibration right and you're trying to interact with something that's at a low vibration. Either the, in order for y'all to even interact with each other, either either the low vibrational person has to come up to you, your level, or either you have to come down to their level. And most of the time, the low vibrational person can't come up to your level. So most of the time, in order for you to interact with a low vibrational person or thing, you have to go down to their level. So every time that you try to interact with something that's low vibrational, you're bringing your vibration down. You're, you're bringing it down. So that's why your spirit team is saying that you need to stay up here and you can't mingle with the people that's down here anymore. And it's not it's not an ego thing. It's not because you think that you're better than somebody. It's just because you're up here now and you're you're learning like greater knowledge and more knowledge and i'm hearing that you're going to be meditating more whether you know it or not oh i wanted to point at the camera your spirit team is not playing with you you're going to be meditating more whether you know it or not so you might think you ain't going to be meditating more but you're going to be meditating more roses oh that was <laughs> okay your spirit team is coming through that that was kind of like an inside kind of joke that you, your spirit team is coming through for you shield shield yes you're gonna your your spirit team is protecting you highly highly protecting you it's probably something that's low vibration that you really really want to do or you've been trying to do but you don't you can't have access to it like you haven't been able to have access to it every time you try to do it it, you can't do it or something this is your spirit team protecting you because they like no <laughs> no you got um other stuff to be doing up oh, makes sense this makes sense reminds me of a very smart very um intellectual person and this just reminds me of somebody that could be a teacher to teach other people things like you have a lot of teacher ener um, energy around you right now and you're going to be being taught some information that not too many people have wow i'm loving these readings today rain and money your spirit team is saying don't even worry like run worrying about money is the least of your words and you know what i'm getting right now you know how back in the day 
um spiritual people used to get sponsored spiritual people um and and like uh spiritual people and healers used to get sponsored back in the day so like sometimes because you know when you're a spiritual person and and you dedicate your life to talking to spirit and stuff like that you don't really have time to have like a, a normal job so you when you really really get deep into it and you um refrain from like alcohol and drugs and you and you just really want to like be the highest vibration that you possibly can and you dedicate your life to it you can't really necessarily work a job because you be you're going to be constantly interacting with these lower vibrations and you can't do that if you want to stay up here right so back in the day spirit is just reminding me of back in the day how spiritual spiritualists used to get sponsored like they used to be like um people used to have like personal psychics and personal channelers personal astrologers and these any spiritual people never had jobs they were just sponsored by the the person that um they read for all the time they was kind of like the middleman between their client and the and spirit and if and back in the day if people was rich enough they they hired their own spiritualists they like their own astrologers and their own like even even in today's time people that's um that have a lot of money they hire their own spiritualists still to this day celebrities do it all the time um people multi-millionaires multi-billionaires they do it all the time they hire their own spiritualists so your spirit team is saying like money is like the least of your worries you you're going to be um perfecting your crafts but your everyday daily tat your your everyday expenses will be taken care of pause me versus me chevy fun international but i'm getting like you love this this is something that you that you love i'm getting like a highly spiritual person or if not this is the direction that your guys are leading you in and this is probably why your guys said you have no idea <laughs> like you have no clue what your life is like meant to be i want to get some validation cards wipe your tears beautiful you're better than this this is reminding me that like you're you could be um and i mean it's no judgment or anything everybody does it but you could be putting yourself in situations that literally are beneath you these people have mental illnesses send them love yes bad bitch energy witchy ass bitch yes you are a witchy ass bitch already and it's saying of people that have hurt you in the past they have mental illnesses and it like i'm getting super 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 spiritual vibes but i'm also getting that it's something about you that fits in with the everyday person so it makes you relatable and this is what can have you going up and down between vibrations because on one hand you want to be relatable but on the other hand, you know that you're way too big for certain things. You're way too big for certain um, situations. They try to make you feel crazy. You have impacted so many people's lives. And imagine how many more you will impact when you hone in on your gifts. Let me get you one more before we get out of here. Oh, you are protected. They can't fucking touch you, period. Your guys are saying you cannot be touched right now. You cannot be touched. You are the one. You are the one. And I got my confirmation card in this reading. Like, you are the one. You cannot be touched. You are being 
guided right now you are being taught right now like you have a te you have a lot of teachers as your spiritual guides and they whipping you into shape real quick and they blocking you from things that you don't need right now so if you if you a smoker and you've been trying to smoke but you can't find no plug or something like that that's your guys that's your guides blocking you like anything that's low vibrational that you're trying to do but you just can't seem to do it think about your guides your guides are blocking you because they're trying to make sure that you're sober enough and you have a clear enough head to receive the messages that you're about to receive so ooh, that was a long reading but pile four let me know how this resonated i would love to hear about it in the comments like comment and subscribe and i will see y'all in the next video bye